All right, so we have some lemon, some red onions, some white radish, red radish, some whole peppercorns, um, some chives, some lemon thyme, some rosemary, some jalapenos, jalapenos. I have minced garlic that I'm just going to throw in there for now. Um, you should use whole cloves, which I will grab from the store tomorrow and throw it in there. It's not going to hurt it if I do it tomorrow instead. Uh, you're going to need a mason jar, some wax paper. I'll explain that in a moment. And then some, the most important thing, apple cider vinegar. This one has honey included. You don't need it, but you need it to have at least 4% or more of the mother. If it doesn't have the mother, don't use it. The mother is this like thicker stuff. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like this thicker stuff on the bottom. Um, so shake, shake it when you're about to use it. Um, that is important. Muy importante. Shake your apple cider vinegar. Um, so anyway, let me show you how we put this together. All right, this is an awful angle, but we uh, aren't fancy here. So um, you can omit any of this stuff. The most important thing to have in there is the onion, the lemon, um, and the jalapenos. You want it to be spicy. You, I've seen people put cherries in here. Um, Ginger, ginger, uh, you could usually put in here too. I, that's another like key ingredient people will say you should have in your apple cider vinegar, or I mean in your fire cider vinegar. Uh, I don't have any, but that's something else I can pick up tomorrow and add to it. So, um, it's simple, very very simple, guys. Uh, there's no, uh, you don't need anything finely chopped. We just want rough cuts because all of this. Uh, it's going to be scraps in the end when you're done creating your fire cider vinegar. If you hear all the noise, they're putting in the window unit in the living room. So, so I'm putting the white radish in here. Um, again, just rough cuts. We're just, we're just chopping and tossing, chopping and tossing. It is literally one of the easiest things to make. Uh, and you're probably asking yourself, what is fire cider vinegar? If you do not know what it is, it is an immune booster. Uh, most people make these during the fall slash like winter time, but you know, with all the vids and the monkey pox and whatnot, it does not hurt to have a batch on hand now. So um again i have the red and white radish in here we are just going to toss the onion literally just rough cut oh look at me make a mess throw that in there um nothing fancy there we're going to rough chop the jalapenos i know it's helping you guys so we just jokingly call it jalapenos because one of our friends growing up breaded that off a can and just since then me and my besties and we just say jalapenos. So, just throwing that in there. Um, so, it's just an immune booster. Um, when this is all said and done, you're going to let it sit for like, I don't know, uh, four to six weeks, something like that. The longer, the better. Um, See, there's the lemon. Look at how look how pretty she is. Um, I'm just gonna chop these chives a little smaller, but the sprigs of rosemary and thyme are just gonna go straight in there. I actually might do two jars of these because it wouldn't hurt to have more, you know. Uh, the lemon thyme, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. The sprigs is stuff it in there. The rosemary, and I'm just stuffing in it. This is all from my yard. Mm, she stink good. I love the smell of rosemary. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make two jars of this, I think. Um, and then, like I said, you want to you want to use cloves of garlic. I don't have it, but I do have just this little bit because I made pico de gallo earlier, so I have this little bit left. So I'm just gonna add this already minced garlic that's left in this jar in here and then tomorrow I have work tomorrow so on my way out I'll pick up some garlic and then 
and just throw it in there. Um, we're gonna add the peppercorns. I got this from Aldi. It's a rainbow peppercorn. You can use just plain old black peppercorn too. It's no, no big deal. I'm just gonna like throw a handful in there, eyeball it. Really, you don't need no full on measurements. Um, some people add the honey to it now. I'm not gonna, after the four to six weeks, whenever I feel this is sat long enough, um, I'll strain the juice from the stuff you drink from all the scraps and then uh, I'll just add the honey then because it's, it's no big deal. You're, you're gonna wanna try to use local honey. Uh, my honey that I will be using is actually local. I bought it off of um, this gentleman who was selling them um, out the back of his truck. Where's my honey? Who's messing with my stuff? I can't find my honey. Um, I know I have two big jars of honey in here. Not one, but two. Uh, see, it's called the Chicago Honey Truck. Not sponsored. I literally just bought it off the sky. So there's the number and the info. Um, it's local, so I'm just going to take this and add it about like know, half a cup to the mixture when it's done. Um, so this is what she's looking like. Give it a little shake. Make sure the mother's mixed into all the vinegar. And then we're just gonna pour the cover. This is all. Oh, I should have took that little plastic thing out because it's gonna take forever. Um, but ginger, yeah. I usually add it. I don't have it. But again, I can pick it up tomorrow. Again, you don't need it. It's just a natural immune booster itself on its own. So. It's usually one of the key ingredients to an apple cider vinegar. Uh, I know some people take this too and they make like marinades. Like they'll add ketchup and make it like a like a barbecue sauce out of it too. That's pretty cool. And you just cover it. Fancy. And now I'll explain the wax paper. That's also super simple. The vinegar, vinegar is acidic. Um, so you don't want it touching the lids of your mason jars. So I just cut a little piece, a little square of um, wax paper, put it on top, put my little lid thing on, and then the rim. And then we just screw it closed. And just shake it. And then you're going to want to shake it like every day or every other day. Whenever you like see it on the counter, you're like, oh, yeah, I must shake that. Oh, look how pretty it is, guys. So, just want to shake it like a Polaroid picture every so often. This like lighting, because I have my little wax burner here. It's got a light, so I'm like, it's giving me funny lighting. Whatever, guys, you know my videos. They're not fancy, and lately they're impromptu. So, you get what you give. Um... So that's it. That's apple fire cider vinegar. You're going to let it sit four to six weeks. Shake it randomly here and there. Uh, also, I am going to add a label to it. Uh, I just have to find a label. And the date that I made this, which today is the... I don't even know what the date is today. But I'm going to put the date on it and then I'll know uh, what four to six weeks is from there. And when it's good to go. And then you're going to take a shot of it like two, three times a day. And it just boosts your immune system uh, but again there are other recipes you can use uh, just google it people make other things with it too like like I said like um, marinades and barbecue sauces that sort of thing for meats well anyway guys that's it that's all I have for you today I just wanted to show you what I was doing in the kitchen I think I'm gonna make another one of these jars because I still have a shit ton of jalapenos I had to buy some the other day which pisses me off because I got a lot of jalapeno plants in my yard and no jalapenos, so whatever, tis what it is.
Anyway, guys, that's all I got.